Well, we must all think we're pretty smart now because we have a big long list in our minds of all the things that would uh, cause a spleen to be enlarged. You know, like lymphomas, leukemias, uh, storage diseases, uh, congestion, hemolytic anemias, blah, blah, blah. Well, I got news for you. We now have to think of the things that might make a spleen be smaller than usual. So not many people have a quick uh, differential of spleno microly in their heads because they all think they know all the causes for splenomegaly. This is a spleen, unfortunately. I know you don't believe it because it doesn't look like a normal spleen. Uh, this is a spleen that has been very, very small. This is classically one of the most common and one of the most extreme causes of a small spleen. The reason why this spleen is small and perhaps not anywhere near to its normal adult weight of 150 grams. This could be 30 grams or 10 grams. I've seen them where they're hardly bigger than a grape. The reason why this particular spleen is small will be very quickly apparent because you could see all of these little fibrotic areas here and here and here and here and here and here. They're little infarcts. This is a spleen that has infarcted itself by having numerous little infarcts in the small blood vessels, which basically has blocked the entire spleen. Oh yeah, I could see a few residual lymphocytes here. And I bet you if we look around randomly like here, maybe we'll see a few more as well. But for those parts, the spleen is practically non-functional besides the fact that it's tremendously smaller than it should be because it's infarcted itself. The most common reason in this country for a spleen to basically auto-infarct itself would be because the small blood vessels that feed the spleen have been uh, sequestering sickle cells. So sickle cell anemia is not only probably the most common cause of uh, extremely small spleens, but uh, it um, should be considered whenever a spleen is uh, remarkably small as well. And here are all the little infarcts to the point where you don't really see much uh, lymphoid tissue. You don't see much uh, sinusoids. The whole thing has been infarcted. Uh, this is a typical microscopic view of an extremely small spleen in advanced uh, sickle cell disease. And I thank you very much.